Hi everyone, today we're going to make some really yummy walnut chock balls. Um, I really love them as a healthy um, treat that you can have when you, you're sort of feeling a little bit peckish or you've got some cravings or it's for those ladies that time of the month so they're really good for that. So let's get into it and I'll tell you what we've um, you've got to put into it first. First thing you need is some whole almonds which is three quarters of a cup of that so I normally like to prep everything and then make it. Um, then we have uh, one half cups of um, dates, so I like to soften them um, with half a cup of water, pour that in there, it softens the dates normally at least 10 minutes or an hour or a couple of hours um, and, it, and then they go really soft and they're easier to blitz um, that way. Um, pour the excess water back into the um, measuring cup there, so you've got your half a cup of water and also in this we've got two scoops of our chocolate shake mix, two scoops of our cookies and cream shake mix, um, we've got three tablespoons of uh, coconut um, and a tablespoon of the cacao powder all in here together and then um, we've got some chopped um, walnuts, you can use you know, half a cup to a cup depending how crunchy you want your walnut balls to be so it's up to you. Um, now let's get going, the first thing we need to do is put our almonds in. That's three quarters of a cup. Okay, we're going to blitz this. Okay. okay, it's really quick. So all we have to do now is add our dates and blitz it again. Okay, there we go, got it going. All right, take the lid off and then just get a knife and turn the outside. You made it quite a crunchy mix. The more you blitz it, the less crunchy it goes. Okay, so I've got round the sides. So what we do now is add the water. Blitz again, then we add our shake mix, our coconut and our cacao powder all together in there. right now because it's, it's really yummy. So put it in the bowl. Okay and there's the mixture again. So what we're going to do is then we just mix through the walnuts. of walnuts. If you don't like walnuts then just use a different nut or you can have it plain without the walnuts. But I like the walnuts, they're quite 
yummy. And then all you do now is I tend to get a tray like this or get um, some baking paper or something like that. And then I just take lumps of balls of the uh, mixture, pop them there, they're quite sticky. So I let them sit there for a few minutes and pile the balls up before I roll them in the coconut. And that way I can play with the sizes of them as well. So I normally tend to use a big sheet of baking paper, put them all on, and then um, put them all out. And then we get around about 28 um, balls. So I'll just do a few here and then show you what I do next. You can use shredded coconut or desiccated coconut to roll them in, whichever you prefer. Okay, so I normally let them sit there and do the rest of the balls like that and then they sort of dry out a little bit and they're not so sticky. And then I have a um, container of uh, shredded coconut that I use. So I normally get one of these balls, roll it and just um, cover it with the coconut. Okay, my hands are quite messy. And then I have a container that I pop them in, like that, and then I do another one, okay, cover them all up, and then I do another one. So you can do the rest of the mixture like that. Oh, I don't do, tend to do really huge um, balls, because then I can have a couple at a time, um, but it's up to you how big or small you do, and I'll show you a... Um, a batch that I did the other day in a second. So what, what I do is I fill up the whole container, put the, the lid on, and then pop it into the freezer. And then whenever you need a treat, you got one there and then, um, and um, grab it out of the freezer. So here is one that I did the other day. And you can see they're all piled up. Easy access to get a treat whenever you want. And when you finish, you can, you know, um, you can eat the, the, um, the leftovers in the bowl, so that's a bonus. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the, um, the video and have a look at my other ones as well. Okay, bye.